It's fair to say that Anthony Gordon at Newcastle United, age 23, has a lot ahead of him as well because he has signed a new long-term deal with Newcastle. Uh, he joined Newcastle from Everton back in January 2023 in an, an initial fee of uh, 40 million, which rose to about 50 odd million, I think, if I remember rightly. Um, where is now the stock of Anthony Gordon when it comes to club and country? We'll get to that, but there's no doubt Gordon himself is committed to Newcastle United. I just think the club's in a great place since the takeover. It's just been up and up. Me and the gaffer, perfect match in terms of style of play. I, I love it here. I'm very happy here. I like living here. I like the team. It, it, like I said before, it's very suited to me. We need to win a trophy. <laughs> the short story is we need to win a trophy. Winning a trophy here would be unbelievable because we've waited so long for it. Fans have waited so long to be part of that team who, who finally does it. It's a massive goal of mine. And I remember having a chat with him actually in Germany at the Euros. Nice lad, Danny. Good, good guy, good bro from what I hear. 15 goals, 11 assists and 74 appearances since he's moved to Newcastle. Has he pushed on to become what you expected him to be? Well, I I think um, he's doing a very good job. He's improving quickly. I, I, I saw him at Everton and a lot of people scoffed at the amount Newcastle paid for him. There was a lot of people going, that's over the top and he's not that good. And I sat on here more than once and said, that could be a snip. I could, I saw the fire in his belly. He's quick. He goes past people and score a goal. Now, of course, he's going to say nice things. He's just signed a big whopping deal. But yeah, yeah. there was rumours of him going to Liverpool before the season started. And I think he'd have jumped at that opportunity. He's no? a Liverpool fan, I think. He is. Yeah. Yeah, he's a Liverpool. Stevie G was his idol, I think, growing up. So Not you. No, okay. rightly so. Um, so... Yeah, of course he's happy. He's playing every week. The fans adore him. What's not to love? He's getting right. he's getting paid well. The manager believes in him. He's playing for his country. Things are going pretty well. Um, but I still I still think they're a bit behind Newcastle. And you know he's talking about trophies, cup cup competitions. Maybe. Are they a bit behind in that area as well, Newcastle? Well, they've won anything for a long time. Anything? The pressure yeah. the pressure's big. It's to try and win something, but. If, most people would suggest four or five other teams before Newcastle as favourites for every competition. So it's going to be hard for him to fulfil his ambition of trophies at Newcastle in the, the next couple of years. Mainly, I know, because they're restricted because of the fine, you know, the, yeah. Yeah. the uh, if, FFP. If you paid an initial fee of £40 million for him, Simon, is it about now that you'd want to start thinking, right, I hope, I hope Anthony, you've got your engines rev because we really want to see what you're made of now. Well, I think he, I think Danny's just described it in exactly as it is. I mean, I'm, I, I think he's a good player. I don't think he's a world beater. I think we have a propensity to turn players into something better than they actually are. We don't have many world beaters, in our... no, I know we don't. But, no. we, but if you listen to some of the conversations that you know that we have about Anthony Gordon, if we had have played him here and have played him there, he'd have been the difference in certain circumstances. I think he's a, a player that's got good ability. I think he believes in himself. Um, I think if uh, a bigger club along the Newcastle came along, he'd exhibit the same characteristics as all footballers exhibit, that they would find an opportunity to go somewhere else. He's doing the job that a £40 million player signing for Newcastle should do. You were a bit heavy when he when he went from Everton to Newcastle. You called him a rat, if I remember right. No, I didn't. Yeah. Why would no, you say that? I didn't say any rat, of the sort. Ra a rat that's, deserting that's the sinking a, ship. Well, I miss, that might be a mischaracterization. Oh, I see. In the context of a conversation, Those are the, words. the rats leaving the ship doesn't make him a rat. A rat in terms of a you know a person that's disloyal. I might have talked about rats. I think leaving you said I hope he gets what he deserves. I don't know where you're getting this quote from. And if Luke's <laughs> going to produce it, then that's fantastic. Rats the, leaving the sinking I, I, ship. I, I certainly call people like Ryan Christie and people like, not Ryan Christie, the Ryan Fraser, people that join Newcastle like that as a rat. I think the producer very deserves, rarely gets things wrong. I, I very think, rarely gets things I right. I think is you, what you, you mean. are guilty here. I don't think I am. You're allowed I, to apologise and you've made because a mistake. Because I, I, I don't yeah. feel that about Anthony, um, Anthony Gordon. I don't. Why think did I, you say it then? Well, I didn't say it. Well, you did. And, and no one can produce it to say that I did say it. I did certainly say it about Ryan Fraser going from Bournemouth to Everton, uh, to um, Newcastle when he deserted them and it was ironic that he got I remember upgraded. that I did say that yeah. but I don't recall suggesting that Anthony Gordon was a rat I might have said like rats deserting a sinking ship because Everton at the time they were a sinking ship but context is very important I know we don't like context here oh I see, I see. So no no that, that is context but Jim said you said I hope he gets what he deserves well I don't remember saying that well if, if, but, but, if we but, can but produce Danny, that you just turned around to me and said that you don't like the dark side of a conversation why don't you assume that I'm assuming that he will get precisely what he deserves because he deserves to do well why would you take it on the negative? Um, Why would you go all unconfessed on me? I, let's, uh, let's think yeah. about it properly. I think... Um, Hold your nerve, Danny. I think he's doing point, Dan. really well. 
Yeah, and I, mean, I, th- I think he he's excess. Uh, what's the word? Exceeded expectation. Do you think so? I do. Wait, exceeded, wait, I, I, you, I mean, you just told you just told everybody that didn't he was exceed a mine. Right, so he didn't exceed yours. No. Okay, but I right. think he. We got the evidence not, of that. You're not out of jail yet in that one. Don't, don't think you are. Where is he in the pecking order with England then? Well, now it's anyone's guess because we've got a new manager. Um, but I think he'll be in the squad. Mm. I know Tuchel's spoken fondly of Rashford before. We've seen Grealish play on the left many times, do a job. I, we'll have to wait and see on that. Yeah, I don't know I, he's a handful. I, I saw him at Craven Cottage handful. against Fulham the other day. Newcastle didn't win it, and I thought they would, but they didn't. Fulham played very, very well. well his end product's by getting, God, he ran it. He, he ran it for a spell. His end product's good. He can play through the middle, and the one thing he's got that a lot of really good wingers don't have is great dis- defensive discipline. Yeah. He does his work. He does his work really well off the ball. Yeah. It's it, kind of... The, the, I, I'm being told by a production team that you you love context and nuance. <laughs> I'd never heard of the word nuance before until I met you. So we've got all of these things in this clip when Simon spoke about Anthony Gordon. You know, the way he's behaved towards Everton Football Club, I can understand that everybody like rats wants to desert a sinking ship, but you're supposed to be able to help that football club, not disadvantage it by your behaviour. And I hope he gets what he deserves. Reaps what he sows. He's not a rat deserting a sinking ship, is well, he? Well, he is a little bit, isn't he? I mean, he's, you know, Everton have given him an opportunity. I mean, Danny Murphy and I have to listen to the players that know more, far more about the ability of players than, than I do, that he thinks he's a top, top player. It's going to be a top, top player. And I wonder what Stuart thinks. Um, but I think he still has a lot to prove. And I think ultimately Everton um, deserve to be handled a little bit better than by the player. And with a little bit more, a little bit more respect, and well, say, well, the clubs don't do that. Why didn't yes, Everton do, do. with Brighton? Doing with Casado and say no, he's not going. Well, Everton are in a completely different situation, aren't they? They're in a completely different situation. With they're managerless, um, they are rudderless, they are gormless at times with the chairman at the top, and their financial circumstances. With are, the owner, yeah, yeah, the financial circumstances are quite prejudicial because they can't really do much in the transfer market without selling players. So mm. their situation is very different. Jordan showed no emotion as he was jailed for 12 years. <laughs> not only did he you con- said it. Not only did Context. you confirm what we said, you also confirmed Why are you so happy? my analysis on Gordon being a top yes. player. Yeah. It, it was I a double that. whammy. I remember that. Um, Rats con- leaving a, deserting a Context sinking ship. I never said it. I never con- said it. Context is everything. First of all, I didn't call him a rat. I suggest that rats leaving a sinking ship is an analogy, which is and often you used. He and which was hopefully a successful you time. Didn't I, just said that. I didn't. Des- I didn't. De- I didn't deny the context of saying that he uh-huh. gets what he deserves. Uh-huh. I wanted to re- remind myself of how I said it. Now yeah. I remember it now, ladies and gentlemen. I, I'll every t- member of the production team. The actual context was in the fact he was agitating for a move, and I felt that he did, yeah. Everton deserved more respect. Quite right, what he engineered. Well done, Simon. How have you been, you. Danny? All good. That was one of my favourite moments. That was great. In all wasn't the years it? I've been Admittedly, it wasn't yeah. very helpful for yeah. my argument. Yeah. <laughs> I never said it. Nuance, context. <laughs> I'll give you both of those. Jim White and Simon Jordan, Monday to Friday mornings from ten. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.